Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much uh, for honoring me and sharing with uh, me just a little bit of time. And I am grateful and really thank you. There's someone, a couple of you have messaged me, say, where are you? You know, you haven't been on live. So I really do appreciate you. Thank you for honoring the gift that I have. And you know, today I just want to share uh, a word of encouragement with you, what I call prophetic motivation. And many times you have heard me say this before. That is not that you need a prophet to tell you about a house or to tell you about a car. It's not that you need us for that. But what you do, uh, what God has really given us the gift is to inspire you and let you know what is it that may be blocking you from reaching your goal. What is it that may be blocking you from getting the desires of your heart? It is possible. All things are possible to him that believe. So I want you, hey, get ready. Uh, uh, share this real quick because I believe somebody's going to be really encouraged. I really believe that. I want to encourage you today. We had a phenomenal uh, Bible study. Now, I do a lot of things online, as you can see. I do a lot of things online. And, hey, God bless you, my darling wife. I do a lot of things. I have Bible study online, Sunday service online. Um, you know, I, I'm very appreciative of this this powerful uh, just Internet. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I remember when it was first Web TV. Anybody remember that? They had this little thing called Web TV. But now it has taken on a whole life and it has really changed a lot of our lives. So wow, we thank God for this invention of internet. You know, I am so appreciative of it. Um, but that being stated, you know, for right now, I hear the Lord saying this for somebody, you know, what is God trying to get you to do that may take off and become even more than what you expected? So sometimes right now, which goes in, thank you, Father, which goes into what I want to talk about. But somebody had the idea saying, hey, let's start this web TV. Now, I remember that that was some years ago. And uh, I remember the uh, caution was, well, what if somebody's ex-husband and they were stalking them, they'll start stalking them again through web TV, you know, and because it was the birthing of the Internet. But wherever there's a challenge, there's also a blessing. Wherever there's something that is black, there's also white. Now, it doesn't matter whether you look at it as good or evil, but things are going to balance themselves out. So, you know what? Somebody right now, God has given you an idea. Bless you. Uh, bless you, Bishop Coleman. God has given you an idea to do something, and you keep talking yourself out of it. Well, what if this doesn't go right? Well, what if that doesn't go right? Well, you know, oh, get the well out the way. You know, get the, I heard uh, the late Reverend Ike made a statement, say, get your butt out the way. There's all these butts. Your butt, you got the biggest butt in the world. <laughs> now, for some of you that's just logging in, you probably don't know, what is he saying? Don't hang up. Don't, don't cut off yet. But get the concept of the whole matter, okay? But really, we got all these butts. I would butt. I would do this butt. I would go over here butt. You know, I would attend this church, but, you know, I would go out on a date, but get your butt out of the way and let's go with God. Let's do some greater things that God is really desiring for you to do. Remember, I stated this before. God is looking for a volunteer to showcase what he can do. Does he have any volunteers this morning? I know maybe afternoon where you are, but can somebody say, hey, God, I'm a volunteer. God is really, ooh, I feel that right now. God is looking for a volunteer to say, hey, I want to, I need somebody to wear my new designer outfit that show uh, other people what is going, what is to come. You know, because really, uh, that's the way that really kind of works. We need, uh, my wife does a lot with the music industry, and sometimes when they want a single or to promote an album, that what they do is they drop a single. You know, that word drop, we go drop this single, right? Uh, so that is to promote what is to come. Many times when there's a, a movie that's come up, they have put out a trailer, a little teaser or a commercial to say, hey, this is what's to come. Can somebody be a volunteer for God and say, hey, God, use me. I'm ready to be used. I, now, people may laugh at you and they say, what is that you got on? But before you know it, it'll be the end thing. You know, it'll be the end that everybody wanted. But you got to be willing to do something. And what is that? Take the risk.
So this is what I, I was getting ready to say was uh, we had a phenomenal Bible study on last Tuesday and uh, our teacher, uh, Dr. Cynthia Henry was teaching a powerful Bible study lesson on last Tuesday. And the message was really just simple, entitled, Take the Risk. Take the risk. And and I, I began to share with the saints that were on the Bible study, you know what? If we really confess the Lord Jesus as our Savior, then why are we so scared? I know no one wants to fall. No one wants to go through bankruptcy, but I have. Nobody want to fall, I have. Nobody want to be talked about, I have. Nobody want to be ostracized, I have. Honestly, I have. And, and do you know, honestly, there are some beliefs that I may have that I don't agree with a lot of people in church. I just really don't. But, and I've been ostracized about that, but I've taken the risk. I let the Lord know, hey God, you can count on me. I may be, you know, and believe it or not, just as well as there may be a hundred people that may be against you, there are a whole lot more that will be for you. God has somebody. And the Lord spoke to me while we was doing the Bible study. He said, Mosley, let them know that I am, I'm, I want to be their savior. Now, we said, well, now, if you confess the Lord Jesus, uh, that he, he died on the cross, got up on the, uh, on the third day, and now he is seated on the right hand of the Father, you are saved. Hallelujah. But what about when it comes to a time when God is saying, I want you to try this business, or I want you to open your heart to love again, or I want you uh, to do something that nobody has ever heard of. But God, what if I fall? Well, evidently, you're not saved enough. Because you, have, you would have read the scripture that says he knows how to keep you from falling. And even to present you faultless. Ooh, I like that one. To present me faultless before his presence and glory. Now, wait a minute. I've done some stuff that I have not had no business doing. Yes, I have. If you want to say he failed, yes, I have. I've been to the nightclub. I've danced. I've drank. I've even gotten drunk before. Yes, I have. I have. But the Bible said, I ain't worried about y'all. Well, I know that. Don't get mad at me. But I'm not worried about you all. He said, I know how to present you faultless before my presence. Ooh-wee. Anybody want to be in God's presence? Is it Just somebody type that for me right now. I want to be in God's presence. I know everybody's not going to like me. Everybody's not going to agree with me. Everybody's not going to get on the bandwagon with what you are doing. Some people don't like your hair color. Those of you that have hair... <laughs> Some of the people don't like what you teach. They don't like what you wear. They don't like who you dating. They don't care for who you sleeping with. They don't care for it. But God is saying, I'm counting on you to take the risk. I know all I, oh, I feel the anointing. All that really matters is you coming in front of my presence. God, God, this is why he's my personal savior. Did somebody catch that? He is my personal savior, which means he's always with me to keep me from drowning. He's always with me to keep me from going under. He's my personal savior. Oh, somebody right now, you ought to say thank you, Father, for being my personal savior. See, because some of us, and let's be honest, he's our church savior. Mm -hmm. You know, we say it in church in front of everybody. You know, we're doing this in front of, but when it's just Michael, not Dr. Mosley, not Prophet Mosley, Bishop, all these wonderful titles that I have, but when it's just me and God, like I'm sitting right here outside, it's just me and God. He said, Mosley, Michael, I'm your personal savior. Every thought that you're thinking about, I'm with you. I, I'm, I'm here to guide you. So what, if you make the wrong error or the wrong choice that may not be benefiting to what you desire, guess what? I'm your personal savior. I'm going to save you. I will create a way. I will create a door, an exit for you to get out of it. If you've, oh, I feel the Lord. Anybody ready for this? Anybody getting something out of this? Can you give me a heart right there if you're getting something out of this or a like, you know? God is saying, no matter where you are, I will give you a way of escape. If you find out, God, I don't like this anymore. I don't want to do this. I don't. <laughs> I'll give you a way of escape. Why? Because I'm your personal savior. And even if the escape is just building your fortification to endure it, 
Woo, hallelujah. Sometimes I've seen women, especially my wife, give birth. and like, I can't do it no more. I can't do it. Push. God will, at the last second, give you enough energy somewhere to have you push one more time. But God, I'm just tired of this. But God is saying, hold on. I'm going to give you just some added strength. I'm going to give you some added energy. I know you can do this. He'll give you a way of escape. He will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is staying on him. Not the people, not, oh, don't get mad at me, y'all, but not even the pastor, not the apostle, not the prophet. What happened to your personal relationship with God? God, I, I would do this, but I don't want to get in trouble with you. <laughs> God is saying, you know what? I'm your savior. I got you. I love you. You know, somebody heard me teach one time and they said, well, Dr. Moses, look like people can do anything they want to under your teaching. I said, they really can, but it's not that they, that they want to. See, some things I've just been that, done that. I don't care to do it anymore. I, you know, I saw one movie. Remember that movie, What's Love Got to Do With It? I saw that movie one time, but didn't have to do it no more. <laughs> that, that was it, one time. I don't have to do that no more. There are some rides in Houston, Texas, that was a a ride called Grease Lightning. And it, it took you up high and then looped you and went back up high again. I got on it one time, didn't have to do it no more. See, it's not that there are so many people just want to do all these crazy things, but there are, we know that God is with us. Is there ever a time when he's not with you? Can anybody, I'm going to give you a chance to think about that. Tell me a time. Just somebody tell me, has there ever been a time when God has not been with you? Has there ever been, watch this y'all, has there ever been one freaking time when God has not been with you? And I said that on purpose. Any freaking time, hmm? even when you was upset, he was still with you. Even when you didn't know what to do, he was still with you. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to encourage you to do something today. And that is take the risk. What is that idea? What is that thought? What is that dream that you have? Take the risk. Hey, brothers, you know Valentine's is coming up. Take the risk. Ask the girl out on a date. Ask her. What? Go ahead. You know, ask that person. You saw them in the club. You got that phone number. You know you do. Take the, Now, that's some single ladies on it. Now, the single ladies should be giving God a heart right now. You should be praying. Lord, let him call me. <laughs> Do I have a single one? Not a, uh, 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 maybe, maybe a married person. Maybe you know somebody single. Let's lift them up before the Lord right now. How about it, huh? Let's lift them up before the Lord. But somebody right now, you ought to say, yeah, Lord, let take the risk. I don't bite unless you like it like that. But anyway, let me quit. But ladies and gentlemen, God is saying for somebody, take the risk. I'm with you. I am with you. God is with you. Don't be afraid. You're never alone. Can somebody can somebody just write that for me in the chat room? I know y'all get tired of writing some things, but can you write this for me? I am not alone. I need somebody to write that for me because that's the word that God wants you to realize right now. I am not alone. You are not alone. Take the risk. You are partners with God. You are partners with God. God is with you. He knows how to keep you from falling. He knows how he, he has people right now that are ready to support you, that are ready to engage with you, that are ready to, to fund your dream, to fund your vision. Oh, bless God. They are, and I feel this in my, I'm going to preach to myself this morning. There are people with finances that are here to fund what God is ready to give you. Oh, I need you. God bless you, Brother Day, Brother Days, and my wife is on. My mother is on. You are not alone. Oh, God. Hallelujah. What's that old hymn? My mother-in-law likes this one. And he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me, Michael, you're my own. And you know what? While I'm just sitting there, even right now, the joy we share as we tarry there, no one has ever known. God is with you on today. I want to encourage you as a prophet of God. Now, every major prophet in the Bible, that was, uh, uh, that was something that God told them to do, that they had to take the risk. They had to take the risk. So I want to encourage you right now. Take the risk.
the the teacher on Tuesday, she spoke about Esther. And Esther said, hey, if I perish because, you know, the king's wife before her was Vashti. Vashti went before the king and she died. They killed her. I'll get rid of her. <laughs> you know, they, they got rid of her. And so here the Lord is telling her, I want you to go before the king. And I want you to give a message. Oh, Esther said, well, you know what? I'm getting ready to obey God. It is a risk. I may not see y'all no more. I may die. This may be it. But if... This is, where, this is where I hear the organ in my ear tuning up. Uh, if I perish, let me perish. You know why? Can I just go here for a few minutes? My dream is greater than my life. Anybody got that one? My prophecy is greater than my life. My purpose is greater than my... You ask Dr. Martin Luther King, since we're celebrating Black History Month, ask Rosa Parks, ask Harriet Tubman, ask Frederick Douglass, Ask Booker T. Washington. Ask George Washington Carver. The vision, oh, I'm trying not to go there, y'all. I'm trying not to go there right quickly. But the vision is greater than my life. If I perish, let me perish. Leave me alone. Let me die. Have my funeral. Because even Dr. King said, I may not get there with you, but hey, we will. <laughs> we going to make it to the promised land. The vision, the dream. It, mm. Y'all know I'm trying not to get too happy, right? The dream, can somebody write that? My dream is bigger than my life. Can somebody write that for me? I don't know if that may help anybody, but that just helped me. I, I want somebody to write it so I can go back and look at it myself. <laughs> my dream, sometimes this urging, this feeling, this, this anointing is bigger than my life. I got to prophesy. Jeremiah was like this, and I don't feel like doing it no more. I'm through. I'm tired. I quit. I give. I cry, uncle, whatever. But oh God, something started stirring up on the inside of him while he was in jail, while he was locked up, while he was confined, while he had limitations, didn't nobody really care to hear him. But something down on the inside began to stir and it became like fire. And he said, I got to get out of here. Why? Because my dream, my anointing, my gifting, my song, my music, my book, my love is greater than my life. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to take the risk. But Martin Luther King, you better be quiet now. You, 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 you messing up. You're meddling too much. Oh, but the gift that God has given me is greater than just my life. It's greater than my four and no more. It's greater than Coretta. It's greater than my children. It's greater. It's going to affect Michael Mosley, whom, uh, oh, bless, I was, I was born after he died. I, I never heard him. I was born, but the dream. Can somebody write this, y'all? I know I'm, I hope I'm helping somebody, but my dream is going to affect somebody else. Can somebody write that for me? My dream is going to affect somebody else. My, oh, bless his name. Hallelujah. My dream. He's gone on, but I got to keep talking about this. Why? Because Mosley is going to have some children, and their children is going to have some children. And God, I have to do this. I got to do this. Huh? Hey, hey, glory. Oh, I'm trying my best not to get too happy, y'all. Uh, I I got to. That's why. Can I prophesy to somebody right now? That's why it won't leave you alone. That's why driving in the car is something on the inside. We used to sing the song in the Pentecostal church. There's something on the inside telling me to go ahead. It's something on the inside, brother. Brother Ryan Roberts, it's something on the inside. It's something on the inside, O'Shea Scott. It's something on the inside that's telling me I got to keep going. I'm tired. I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like getting out of the bed, but I, it's something on the inside that just won't let me leave it alone. Mm. Oh my goodness. I heard Walter Hawkins did a remake of an old song that says, what is this that I feel so deep inside, but whatever it is, it just won't leave me alone. I feel like hollering right now. <laughs> I feel like hollering. Anybody got something on the inside that's pulling you? Anybody, anybody, just can somebody just type, I feel something on the inside. Can anybody just type that right there in the chat room? Anybody feel something? In, mm -hmm. uh, anybody feel something? Just, I feel something, Dr. Mosley. I feel my dream. I feel, I, I feel candy. You're right. I got to keep going. I got to keep going. I, it's something. 
Woo. I know when somebody said, this is your third husband, I, that's okay. It's something on the inside. I got love. I had love for the prior two, and I got love for another one. Come on. I, I, something. Well, this is your first, this is your third or fourth business. That's okay. I'm going at it again. Why? Because it's something on the inside. I can't let it rest. I can't, I can't quit. I can't give up. They did Paul like that and beat him up and drug him out of the city. Paul got some strength from someone and said, I'm going back in. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to take the risk. I got to go back. I got to preach. I got to sing. I got to prophesy. I got to love. I have to do this. I'm going to take the risk. Today, I want you to take the risk. It may be going for a job. It may be moving. It may be a writing a book. It may be singing a new song. It may be doing something different with your hair, dressing different. It may be doing something that you have never even done before in your life. But God is saying, I want you to take the risk. I'm with you. Let's do this. <laughs> let's do Can somebody write that? Just somebody say, let's do this. Just, just give me one person that could just write that real quickly because I feel the anointing over you. You know, sometimes when I tell people to write something, it's because I feel an anointing. And that's what God is saying. That The person that most of is writing it, they're the ones that's feeling it. And God is, is, is kind of sanctioning what I'm saying. So can somebody just write this, let's do this. Because God is counting on you to do it. Today, this Thursday, let's do this. Get you out a sheet of paper and let's start writing down the vision. Just scratch it, scribble, scratch it on a piece of paper. Let's do this. Let's go for it. God, I don't know how it's going to all work out, but let's do this. Let me call up a television company. See, I got an idea for a show. I got an idea for a movie. I got an idea for a record. I got an idea. Let's do this. I got an idea for a ministry. I'm going to write this out and show my pastor. I got an idea. Fit God is ready to do something. Take the risk. Be like Esther. If I perish, I perish. But, but the dream, the vision is bigger than my life. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than Michael Mosley. It's bigger than you, Ryan Roberts. It's bigger than you, Candy. It's bigger than you, O'Shea. It's bigger than you, my darling Amelia. It's bigger. The vision is bigger than me. Ooh, hallelujah. I feel this. My mother's right at this. My dream is going to affect somebody else. It is. It's for, oh, thank you, Lord. My mother's dream and becoming a nurse. She didn't know it at the time, but later on, she would get pregnant with me. <laughs> and her dream was to affect, affect, it put me through school. You did. Her dream. Are you catching this? Anybody catching this? I know that's my mother. And I bless God, but because of her dream. Because of what God put on the inside of her to be a nurse, to be a medical professional, you know what? And even with that, because of her dream, she even saw the, uh, uh, my first two children. She helped deliver it. She was, in, she was the nurse to deliver and watch the birthing of her first two grandchildren, her first two grandsons from me. Are you following my dream? Hey, oh, I let one slip. I let it slip. I let it slip, y'all. My dream. Anybody got this? My, are you catching this? Any? Give, give, I'm, I'm about to go. I'm about to go for real. But give, give me a heart or give me a like right there if you're catching this. Because somebody else is depending on you. Somebody else is depending. They're counting on you. They're saying you can't. God bless you, Kimberly. They're saying you can't give up now. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you can't do it. Ooh, there are customers waiting on you, Sister Kim. They're waiting. They're lying up outside your door. They're waiting on you. You can take the risk. But well, Lord, what if nobody show up today? Rent is due. Take the risk. He will keep you. He will hold you. He'll present you faultless. God is saying, I got you. Am, am I really your savior? I'm not just talking about in church. You're my Lord and my Savior. No, am I really your Savior? Because if I'm your Savior, that means I got you in the palm of my hand. Somebody, he got me in the hollow of his hand. He knows how to keep me. Here, tell him. Mm. <laughs> Y'all don't know. I just get happy every time. But I want you to know. Thank you, Sister Kim. Eric, thank you. Bless your heart. Ryan, I want to let you know your dream is bigger. Your dream, your gifting is so much bigger than your life. That's why some people. That's why some people don't sleep. They don't eat because of my dream. I just gotta. I gotta get this going. I gotta get this out. Girl, you haven't even had breakfast yet. You, 
<laughs> you know what? But that's okay. My dream. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm fueled off of the energy of somebody being inspired, somebody being helped, somebody, my children going to school, my children being productive, my dream of going on a vacation, my dream of going to Paris, my dream of going on a cruise, my dream. Ooh, I'm, I'm fueling my dream. I rest when I get on the cruise. And sometimes when you get on that cruise, you got another dream. I'm on my plane. I, you know, that's okay. Your dream. It's bigger than you. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, I pray. Lord, I pray y'all were blessed today. Listen, later on this evening, I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm gonna do prayer on this evening. So join me. I'll come back again later on tonight. Oh, but I just want you today. Message me. Send this to somebody. I think it's a way you could share it. Share it with somebody. Let them know. Take the risk today. Don't let this day go by without you taking the risk. Did you hear me? Don't let these today go by without taking the risk. Ryan says, you are calling out dreams I never spoke of. Wow, thank you. Oh, bless you. God knows that was for you. He knows who's listening. He knows. <laughs> Spirit knows. He knows that you're watching. Candy, I bless God for you, my dear. Take the risk. Let's go for it. Forget what and I, I don't know why I hear this in my ear for you, but I'm forgetting those things which are behind me. And I'm reaching forth to those things which are before. Some things you got to forget about. Yeah, you know, some people, I remember when you did this. <laughs> I got to forget about that. I'm going for my dream. You just, <laughs> you got to say, forget that. I'm going for my dream. Kimberly, bless you. You took a, you took a risk. Keep going. If God was with you with that, keep going. There's so much more. So much more. I speak that this will be a phenomenal tax season for you. I, I feel Angelina, take off, shake off that negativity. Go for it. Dr. Alicia Adams. Yeah, I like that. Walk on the water. Come on. We can do this. We can do it. But I ain't heard of nobody else doing it. That's why he called you to do it. Uh-huh. But believe, you know what? And I'm, I'm physical. But you know what? I hear the Lord saying this. Maybe you haven't heard nobody else doing it, but that don't mean he haven't told nobody else to do it. You just anointed enough to take the risk. Whoo! Did, did anybody catch that one? He, 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 you probably haven't heard, but he's told somebody else. Somebody else had the same idea. They had the same idea. They got too scared. Oh, but you think, Dr. Kimberly Bradshaw, my dear, I hear the Lord saying, remember, I really do. I hear the Lord saying, remember, remember what I have done for you. Now, I know you, you're my sister. I remember, remember the position that I gave you when you were working at the school. Remember, have I ever left you? Remember all the accomplishments, accomplishments that you have done. Remember. Oh, it ain't that hard. Just remember. Just remember. Remember, has there ever been a time when I did not provide? Just remember. I hear the Lord talking to you now, and he's talking to somebody else. You just remember. You remember. Just you and, I, uh, and, and when you remember, then you expect. When you remember that he put food on the table, when really the lights got paid some kind of way, this got happened. Mm, remember. Remember and expect. See, because if I remember that he did it before, I'm going to expect him to do it again. <laughs> I'm going to remember, hallelujah, when the car note was behind and he caught me back up. I'm going to remember. <laughs> I remember you was at my house and I remember my son accidentally backed into your car. <laughs> oh, glory to God. But we got it fixed, didn't we? Remember, God is able. Just like that, no matter what, maybe a dent, hey, we got it. God is saying, I got you. I'm your savior. Woo, anybody got this? Y'all, I got to go. Anybody got this? I'm your savior. Angelique says, please pray for my friend's mother, Miss Pearl. Is that right? She is at St. Luke's. She collapsed. We're going to believe God for Miss Pearl right now. We're going to believe God because God is able. She's at a risk right now. We're going to believe God. Kathy, you're right. When we remember, we, hey, glory. Y'all, I'm trying not to get happy. <laughs> but we expect him to do it again. And he wants to do it again. Relax. 
and remember. You know what, Sister Kimberly? I want you to just um, do this. And somebody else do it. Take five minutes today. Just take five minutes and just close your eyes and remember. Or maybe go through a photo album and just remember. Go through your calendar and just remember. Uh, uh, go through some bills that were paid. You know, sometimes I find a bill and say, ooh, this feels good because it's paid. Throw that in the trash. <laughs> it feels good because he did it. If you remember, you'll expect. Take the risk, everybody, today. God is with you. If he paid the bill last month and the one before that one, he's going to do it again for you. Do you believe God? Oh, I bless God. I, I bless God. Yes. And we're still, I'm believing God for Miss Pearl. We believe as I'm talking, I'm believing the Lord. In fact, let's pray together. Father, we lift up Miss Pearl right now and we speak that you would touch her body. Bring healing right now in the name of Jesus. All of the wonderful people that are on here right now, we pray that they are motivated to take the risk. Just as Esther did. I feel that there are some Esthers on this, on this call right now. There are some Esthers on Facebook right now that says, God, if I perish, if I perish, let me perish. But this dream, this vision, this message, this anointing, this love, this idea is bigger than my life. It's greater than my life. I'm going. As long as you're with me, Emmanuel, God with us, as long as you're with me, we're going to make it. Bless Dr. Bradshaw. Bless all of the saints, all of us that are achieving our dreams. We are taking the risk today in the matchless and most powerful name of Jesus. It is so. Amen. Can you, if you're in agreement with that, can you just type amen real quickly? Can you, can you, can you, Dr. Alicia, she said she received it. Uh, 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 Lady Anilia Mose, I have to keep going. Oh, bless God. We, can you just type amen for me real quickly? I'm getting ready to get out of here. I, 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 I got my coffee right here. I got to drink it. But you know what? Let's, let's take the risk today. Did you receive it? God bless you. Uh, Chalsada. God bless your heart. Angelina, I'm praying for you today. And let her let, keep me posted as to how your friend is doing. I'm taking a risk, Brother Turner. Uh, D. Daryl Turner. God bless you. O'Shea. Sister Candy out there in Las Vegas. Uh, Dr. Bradshaw, blessings to you. Tell your husband I want some barbecue. Uh, <laughs> Alicia. Kathy, amen. Bless God. I praise God for you. Let's take the risk together, everybody. If we do it, somebody's going to follow, follow our footsteps and others will be blessed. Just because you took the risk or you are taking the risk today, somebody's going to follow your footsteps and they too will take the risk. Okay? I bless God for you. Let's keep going. Let's keep moving. God bless your hearts real good. I'll talk to you again real soon. Take the risk.